Sky 13 meteorologist Jay Polk is in with your weather on the ones for Abby Oconee. Good morning, Jay. Well, good morning, Dana. Good morning, everyone. We are seeing a lot of sunshine and Old Glory not exactly flapping in the breeze as we go through this morning. There's not a huge amount of breeze out there. As we look at our Falcon Fire Department camera, Highway 24 and Meridian Road. Travel packs for our afternoon drive, though, do include some thunderstorms along Highway 24 as well as along Highway 50 between Pueblo and the Kansas line and between the Raton Pass and Denver, especially north of the springs up towards Denver as we go through the afternoon along Interstate 25. As you head out and about later on this afternoon, you want to turn the air conditioner on in your car, especially out in the plains. Temperatures topping out in the middle 90s, a real scorcher out there today. 96 in La Junta, 95 in Lamar, 92 your high today in the Steel City, 90 in Canyon City, 86 in the springs, 70s and 80s up in the high country, 86 your high in Salida, 77 in Leadville. Skycast as we go through the rest of the afternoon into the evening. Here comes that chance for showers and storms along to the south of Interstate 70 over to the Kansas line. Some of them again on the strong to severe side, especially in the eastern plains as we go through this afternoon into this evening. As we go through our Tuesday morning, another round of showers is being predicted by Skycast. This will be below severe limits, but will still be strong at times. As we go through our Tuesday afternoon, more of the same as in the forecast, starting off in the usual places west of I 25, we're talking about, and then making its way into the eastern plains as we go through our Tuesday evening. There will be decent amounts of rain as we go through the next couple of days around southern Colorado, especially out in the eastern plains. This is where the bulk of the showers and storms will be. So, no surprise that there's this is where the bulk of the rain is going to be as well. But we'll be tracking those showers and storms as they make their way towards the burn scars for you over the next couple of days, as we always do. And as we head west of Pueblo, this is where the bulk of the rain will be in Pueblo County, not very much in the city proper. Not a huge amount in the high country either, but the bulk of the rains we talked about. Will be out in the eastern plains. The skycast is predicting about an inch or just under an inch in Holly over the next 36 hours. Spring 7 day forecast 86, 84, 85 is where we're going on the first three days. Then it's upper 70s to lower 80s for three days running before we're back in the mid middle 80s as we end off the weekend. Lows are sitting in the upper 50s to right around 60. In Pueblo, lower to middle 90s for the first three days of our forecast, and it's mid to upper 80s for several days running back to the 90s again as we go through our Sunday. Low temperatures are sitting in the upper 50s and lower 60s here as well. In Canyon City, temperatures are in the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and it's lower to middle 80s for three days running before we're back to right around 90 as we end off the forecast the end of next weekend. Lows are in the 50s to right around 60. In Teller County, high temperatures sitting in the mid to upper 70s at first, then it's upper 60s. About the only place you're going to see upper 60s anywhere in this extended forecast regime, those four forecasts that we show you, is in Teller County on Friday. Outside of that, temperatures are sitting in the 70s across the board. All right. Thanks, Jay. You're welcome.